Hey guys, it's Jason again. Today I'm going to show you how to connect all the components you need to build a four-wheel drive electric skateboard and explain how they work together. Let's get started. First, let's take a closer look at all the components we have. We've got two dual motor truck sets, which means we have four motors. Each motor has two face wires and two sensor wires. We also have two dual motor ESCs, two power buttons, a battery, a remote, and the LED module with tail lights. Now let's connect all the components to the ESC. The biggest connector is for the battery. This port down here is for the power button. These two connectors are for the wires of one motor, and these two are for the other motors. The port in the middle is for the battery indicator. And the smallest one is for the LED module. The same goes for the other ESC. Now that we have connected all the components, let's turn on the ESC. Hear the beep? Yeah, it has pushed to stop. You can also use the power button here to turn it on. Turn on the remote, you'll find the information like the remote battery travel, the board's battery travel, the odometer, the speedometer showed up on the screen. These two signals indicate that both ESCs have paired with the remote. If you turn off one of the ESCs, You'll notice that one of the signals disappears. Turn it on again, the signal will come back. You push forward, accelerate, and pull back to brake. You may notice that these motors are spinning in different directions when you accelerate. If you intend to use these motors for the front wheels, it means that these two motors are spinning in the wrong direction. In this case, we need to swap the wires of these two motors. Let's try again. Now all the motors are spinning in the same direction. You can switch different speed and braking modes using this function button. We've got speed mode 1, 2, 3, 4. Speed mode 3 and 4 will give you the same top speed, but the acceleration is extremely strong on speed mode 4. You gotta be really careful. For braking modes, just hold on the brakes. Then press the function button. We've got brake mode 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4 is the strongest. This is also the LED button. Press and hold down the button for 2 seconds. You will turn the lights off. Long press it again, the lights will turn off. One of the great features I like about this remote is cruise control. When you are holding the acceleration, no matter what speed you are riding, Tap on the power button, you are going to be in the cruise control mode. Either accelerating or braking will stop it. With these ESCs, the top speed of these motors is 30 miles per hour. You know if you are a heavy rider on dual motor boards, you may get a bit lower top speed. But on a four wheel drive board, I'm pretty sure you can hit 30 miles per hour top speed. If you live a place where you have a lot of hills and don't like belt driving system, the four-wheel drive power motor board can be a great option. When you are riding on flat ground, don't need that much torque and want to conserve power, you can easily switch to front-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive using this remote. To switch, start with remote powered off, then don't press these two buttons at the same time. Here you can switch it between all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and rear-wheel drive. Let's set it to rear-wheel drive. In rear-wheel drive mode, only the rear wheels will spin when you accelerate, but all four wheels will brake when you pull the throttle. And if you brake at a full stop on a slope, it will lock the wheels, preventing your board from rolling down the hill. I really like this feature. Here you can also switch your speed between kilometers per hour and miles per hour. You know the sleeves of these motors are swappable. You can also set the wheel speed here if you upgrade your wheels to bigger or smaller diameters. 
Speed of 57 is suitable for 90mm middle wheels. If you upgrade your strips to 105mm, you need to set it to 67. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy riding!